here where are biscuit. Before he came to me, he was three years old as a foster child, and he had a rough beginning. He actually came to me mute. He was not speaking at all. We went through several speech programs. When we came to Liberty Arts Academy, that's when we found out about Gabriel's Angels. When Corey got admitted into the program, he was admitted because of his speech development and his special education needs. His teacher saw the hope that Gabriel's Angels could give him. And working with Michelle one-on-one -on -one gave Corey not only the ambition to better his reading skills, but also to help him emotionally and socially. I'm Michelle Martinez. I'm the ABC program volunteer coordinator, and I'm also a pet therapy team through the ABC program. When Camus and I first met Corey, we saw a very shy, timid little boy who was not very confident in presenting himself and being around others. I asked for him to read on our first visit and asked him if he wanted to read to Camus. He let me know that he could not read and I told him that's okay, that we would be able to help him with that. That's what Camus and I are here for. We're here to help you out. Gabriel's Angel's mission is to inspire confidence, compassion, and best behaviors in at-risk youth through pet therapy. Through our programs, we provide unconditional love of an animal to the children who need it the most. Fast forward a couple weeks later, Corey read the book all by himself, and he recognized it. And he looked up at me, and he said, did you see that? I read the book all by myself. And I said, yes, you did. Camus and I are very proud. Camus stood up and gave him a high five. Working with Camus and Michelle weekly in the 12-week program, he actually was only able to work with them for eight weeks because of the pandemic. And he was able to completely change his reading. And he is such a more confident reader now. And I owe so much to Gabriel's Angels and what they've done for Corey and our family. My favorite things about Scar school are reading books and doing math. What are you reading about a lot this year? Really just dog books. Dog books, yes. During our 20 minute reading session, I spend two or three minutes at the beginning of the session and two or three minutes after the session to have the child um, affiliate with Camus more. Uh, playing games, feeding treats for tricks. What did yeah. we do? What did we do that? We played hide and seek. We did, didn't we? Do you remember where you hid? In the bush. <laughs> you did, didn't you? Yeah. It took him a long time to find you, didn't he? Yeah. Let's fast forward three weeks even more. Corey gets finished reading his books, and I said, all right, you're done reading your books for today. What would you like to do with Camus now? And he looks up at me, and he says, can I read another book? And I said, absolutely, you can. I feel happy and excited by reading. Through Gabriel's Angels program and working with Michelle and Camus, he was able to find that confidence in himself and to be able to, to be able to find the little boy he was always meant to be.